Airlines in the red today with Hawaiian seeing the largest move down four and a half percent. Now this comes after we've seen forecast cuts from a number of airlines recently, including Southwest, Frontier, Delta and American, citing higher fuel costs eating into margins. Joining us now, Hawaiian Airlines president and CEO Peter Ingram. Uh, Peter, welcome. So uh, last earnings, you said you were pleased with the revenue environment and booking trends. Labor costs, though, are up four and a half percentage points from a year ago. And now uh, fuel prices have spiked. How much is that hurting? Well, certainly the, the, the fuel price increases are going to hurt us a little bit. And, of course, we don't uh, know exactly where that, that market goes from here. But, but that, is, uh, that is a cost of doing business for all of us in the industry. Uh, in terms of the revenue side, you're right. We had very good momentum coming out of the second quarter. We felt very positive about the recovery, the long-awaited recovery that we had seen in, in demand on the, uh, the Japan part of our business, which has uh, been one of the, the slowest p pieces to recover from the pandemic and really is showing good momentum now and has been throughout the summer. In the third quarter, the, the new challenge we're facing is, uh, is the aftermath of the, uh, the tragic wildfires in Maui. And that has, that has in the short term, uh, crimped some of the visitation to the island of Maui. And, and we're, we've, I think we're through the worst of the uh, demand downtick from that, but we're certainly not back to full strength in terms of visitors coming into Maui. Yeah, absolutely. I know in Maui, they're trying to get those visitors back, certainly. Now, um, looking farther out, next month you're starting this uh, partnership with Amazon, starting to actually, you know, do it, where they bought planes and you're going to fly and service them. I think you said revenue won't be material until next year. How big does that potentially get? How much should investors focus on uh, that possibility? I think it's a really good opportunity for us going forward. We've got our, our first revenue flight uh, coming online in less than two weeks now, and we're very excited about that. Our team's put a lot of preparation in to be ready to that. Uh, by the end of next year or early 2025, uh, we'll be flying 10 aircraft for Amazon, and there's an opportunity for the opportunity to grow beyond that uh, as we execute and perform well for Amazon, uh, they've got the option to dedicate more flying to us. And, and we see that this as a building part of our business. Uh, it won't be material right now. It won't be material in the early part of next year. But it does give us a new source of revenue as we go through 2024 and into the years beyond. And, and we're looking forward to getting off to a good start in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and of course, it sounds like it's, you're coming online, right? Right in time, perhaps, for the second Amazon Prime Day. Uh, I want to go back to the consumer piece of the puzzle here, uh, a more macro picture, because we know uh, in the monthly inflation readings, we get that airline prices uh, have been high. Uh, they've been a source of the higher inflation levels that the, the Fed has liked to see. Um, your airline, as well as others, just in recent weeks have revised lower uh, current quarter projections and forecasts. Have we seen a peak in pricing, especially as we see domestic demand maybe normalized now post-pandemic? I can't speak to what all the uh, the other airlines are seeing, but from our standpoint, the uh, the revision to our our third quarter revenue projections was really driven by the unique situation in Maui. So, we have not seen uh, demand to Honolulu, demand to the uh, to the other islands uh, being affected. It's been uh, it's been steady, and we've had consistent revenue trends up until the uh, the tragedy in Maui.